Hi everyone. Um, I am right now in Japan 2013 and today I will show you how to break the inheritance for the permissions um, on the site. Um, so I am right now on the home site which is called the departments and what we're going to do is we're going to break the inheritance for the marketing sites there, subsite. So we're going to first click on the marketing subsites and then on the right hand side we have this little gear icon that we're going to click on and we're going to go to site settings and under users and permissions we're going to click on site permissions so right now this marketing website uh, has the same permissions as its parent which is the department website so you can see all the groups that we have right now from the department so I have few users obviously in those um, members owners and visitors so the point is that I don't want those people to see or access the marketing website so I need to break the permission for the marketing website to have unique permissions so in the marketing websites there, we're going to click in the ribbon on Stop Inheriting Permissions. And you are about to create unique permissions for this website. So we're going to click Yes. OK. And now uh, you have the choice to create a new group or use an existing group. But the point of this is to break the permissions. So we're going to create a new group and automatically you'll see that the group name is going to change and this is going to be the marketing visitors so here you're going to put the name of the people that you want to put um, to have access as visitors so with the visitors permissions in here and you can do the same for the rest for the members create a new group and for the owner of the site that's the same create a new group so I have only um, one person that I want to add in this website at the minute so for the members of the site I am gonna leave my admin account just in case something happens and I cannot access the website uh, later and for the owner I am gonna remove my admin and I am gonna put just someone from the marketing team and so I will browse to have further name and I have Simon um, which is a marketing director so just click add and click OK and when you're finished with this you just have to click on OK so I click on OK and we are back on the site on the marketing subsite so what I need to do now is I need to go back to the site permission so on the right hand side I'm going to go back to the gear icon and site settings and site permissions and now you can see that I have my new groups marketing members owners and visitors but I still have the department visitors owners and members that is because when I created the marketing subsites I didn't break the inheritance straight away okay so that's why so when you do this you need to come back in the permissions and you need to delete the groups that you don't need or don't want anymore so you select them and then you click in the ribbon on remove user permissions so when you click on this you are about to remove the permissions blah 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 yes we want to do this so click OK and then you only have those members, owners and visitors for the marketing websites and normally the, the overgroups from the departments on the home site will not have access to this unless you give them access.